What's up guys, Rods here. Show you guys how to uh, check the ramp to table opening on your Langmuir press brake. So when you go into your settings, you can actually input the correct value. And what that does is it's gonna give you a better control over your over bend and under bend. This way you're not having to put like five degrees or some crazy number, you should be within three degrees. So let's show you how to do that real quick. So. So this is the part in the manual where they say it's optional and uh, I don't think it's optional, I think it's mandatory. I'm going to show you how to do this step here so you get the right value when you input your RAM to table opening distance. This is super important for me. Um, if you get this wrong, then you're always having to go with some crazy um, angle compensation when you program bends. Uh, so get this right and don't use their default uh, RAM distance opening. I don't recommend that at all. Okay, first thing you're gonna wanna do is, uh, so here's the RAM to table opening distance. You're gonna get this value dead on, correct. We're really close to. Don't use the factory uh, opening setting they have. So first thing you wanna do is they say to uh, take this measurement, minus your uh, minus your measurement piece they recommend uh, one two three blocks and get two of them so you add these two together you're gonna get a total height of six inches right so or you can you know get something that's already six inches you can actually get a two four six blocks which I think is even better because then you're not having to worry about tolerance stacking when you're taking two parts and going together but for this example, we have these two and we're just gonna use that. So you're gonna take this value, minus six, then plus uh, 10 thou. So let me write that down. So our value, it, our value for the RAM to save opening is 8.346. Then you're gonna minus uh, six inches because that's our total height of our measuring device. And then you're going to plus 10 thou. So we got 2.356. Okay, remember that number. All right, let's go back to the press break. And this is just based off of my ramp opening. Your number is going to be different, so your value is going to be different. So make sure your machine is home, go into manual mode, and then in where it says move to safety button operated, this Y ramp position, go in there and type negative 2.356. Okay? Make sure you put that negative. That's important. Hit OK. And then you're gonna hit run. And then you're gonna jog, it's gonna jog down to that position. It's gonna stop at negative point three five six. Okay. And you'll see right here distance to, to go and once this gets to zero, you've reached this negative here value here, which is here. Okay, perfect. It stopped at the right height. Now you're gonna get your one, two, three blocks, two of them. And you're gonna measure the distance, or you put this through, and you're gonna do it to where it slides through. Right now, it's not, and on the other side, you're gonna check, okay? You're gonna, so now, what you're gonna do next is move this incrementally back up 1,000, so 0.001, so make sure you select that and you just go ram up and then we're going to check does it slide through? nope, not yet, keep going ram up you're going to continue doing this until, until it slides through Thank you. 
And I noticed that this measurement can be kind of finicky because right now the RAMs are down and I think the server motors are like constantly adjusting this. So just try to do your best. So keep going up. Nope. Oh, see how it slides through? And then when the machine pulses, it slides back out. So you just try to get your, see right there, sliding through. The other side is close. So we're gonna do one more up. One more. Maybe one more. And like I said, the RAM is like constantly adjusting. So this measurement is a little finicky. All right, we're good on that side. We're good on that side. So let me take a, let me show you a closer look. Okay. See that? It's like, shouldn't be able to see light through, right? That's right there. That's what you want. You want to make sure it passes on both sides as well. So that's like really close. And this is like really close, maybe off by like 0 0.0005. So I'm happy with that. Okay. And because I know this side is slightly higher than that side, um, because I was able to put the one, two, three blocks on this side and slide it through first before I this side so you can see this side is like dead on you can get super nerdy right and you can use a feeler gauge and get really really nerdy about how you want to go about getting this actual height measurement here so this is a two thou filler gauge it's able to slide through so this would be actually six Point zero zero two, and that side would be more as six point zero zero zero, and I could take the two numbers, divide by two, get the average, and then input that into my RAM to table opening. But this should be pretty close, like you can see right there. Like it won't come out, but then when the the RAM pulses a little bit, watch when it pulses. It'll be able to slide back out. See? All right, now we're gonna uh, do some math and input our RAM to table opening distance. So on the left side, we calculated the opening to be 6.002, and on the right was six. So in the manual, it tells us to take the two and, and add the, and, and get an average. So six point Zero zero two plus six divided by two, and then you add that number there. So plus two point three four seven, and that right there should be your new calculated number eight. So and then save it, and you're done. Now let's say your left side was 6.007 and your right side was six and you, and right there it's about seven thou of deviation and that's the maximum the manual will allow if you get more or if you just think seven thou is too much which in my mind seven is a little bit too much from factory um, I actually have a video to show you how to level out the press break table so that you can get even tighter. In this particular case, it's 2000, which is, which is great. Um, if I wanted to tweak it more, I would uh, try to go back and re-level my table to get, it, have, to get it to where it has the same measurement on both sides to the T. But 2000 should be pretty good. And that's it. So hopefully you guys learned something from this video on how to make your Langmuir press break better. 
uh, if you want to upgrade some things to make them make it perform better I'll leave some links or uh, or click here one of these links here uh, that's it for me uh, gotta get back to work